What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Charles here, aka the Bearded Guru. Um, so many people liked my pure CSS slider, and I appreciate everybody that thanked me for that. Um, I really enjoy, you know, adding little tidbits here to uh, help users with their their click funnels, kind of give them a little extra, uh, give it back to the the community there. Um, the only problem with it was was it wasn't very it didn't play nice if you're using more images than what I actually set the code up for. Um, so, I mean, I had one lady ask me if she could do 20 images, and the math around that was just like, <laughs> it wasn't feasible. So what I decided to do was actually create a JavaScript uh, version of a slider. And the for right now, it does what it says it does. It's a slider. Uh, it's nothing too fancy. Um, I do plan on adding more options to it, you know, uh, changing the way it looks, um, changing the transitions. Uh, but currently, this is what it looks like now. And this follows the same responsive design that my CSS slider did. Uh, it will fit into any one of our um, column rows here. Um, and it, it's great for mobile or desktop. The, uh, the images will scroll down properly, etc. So to give you an idea of what it looks like, as you can see, all of the different columns here are all displayed properly. Um, everything looks uh, pretty, uh, pretty good. One thing I did add to it, though, and I will. Somebody actually mentioned uh, that they wanted to know. If it was able, if you were able to actually like click on one of the images and it scrolled to a certain part of the page, uh, so I want to demonstrate that right now. So on this image here, if I click on it, it's going to scroll me down to the the opt-in section that I named. Um, so it does do that. Uh, but like I said, it, it's a pretty basic slider for now. Um, I I will be bringing in more options to it, but. I hope you enjoy this uh, as much as I did putting it together for you. Um, so installation is very simple. It's you're going to use this HTML code here, and what and the editor view here is a little irritating for me. So what I recommend is you can just grab all of the code here, copy it, and then you can paste it inside of a uh, inside of a uh, a notepad, or if you have some type of uh, um, code display, like I use Sublime Text, but Notepad will work just as well. Um, you just paste the code in there, and then all you're going to do, if you need to add more images, um, just simply copy a div, and then paste it in, and then right here for the URL when they click on it in the anchor tag this is where you would put hashtag scroll dash um, whatever name section that you put in there um, and you just replace the URL for the image that you want to have displayed and then that's it so adding more um, adding more slides is as easy as just copy and pasting some code there's no math that needs to be figured out. Um, everything's pretty self-contained. Um, there is a file that I'll be giving you, which is the J JavaScript code. Um, simply, all you have to do is upload it into your digital assets area and then call it in the tracking area of the page. So if you click on settings, go to tracking areas, down here in the footer, custom uh, tracking area. This is where you would paste the, um, the script with, along with the link of the JS file that's found and that you upload into your uh, digital assets area. Um, one thing to note, though, if you're doing it inside of ClickFunnels, obviously make sure that anywhere that you're linking to files come from an HTTPS source. That way you don't have the browser blocking it because it's trying to load non-secured items on a secured site. But other than pasting the um, the script there, and then pasting the um, pasting the uh, the CSS 
inside of the custom CSS area. And then the code here, it, it's, it's really not, it's really not difficult. Um, and then as I showed you how easy it was to add more slides or remove slides, depending on what you want to use. Um, one thing I did add some, there are some buttons that you can, sh that can you, that can uh, be displayed there. Um, what this display dot none is what's hiding that. If we let's get rid of that line, we don't need that line. So if we comment this uh, display dot none out, and then we save it, open this up. You see that there's buttons now that a user can click on to move it to a specific page. And after they get done clicking it, it'll just move back through its uh, normal rotation. All right, so yeah, um, click the link uh, in in the, the description of this video and it'll take you over to where you can get access to the JavaScript file, the CSS file, and the um, actual HTML code to add it. And like I said, it's really as simple as you know, adding a new element or add a new column block, add a new element. You're going to use a custom JS HTML, and then click on it and just paste your code in there. Um, well, not that code, obviously, but you paste the uh, the HTML code inside here. You take the CSS code, you'll paste it inside here, and then you link to the JavaScript file that I'm going to give you as well inside of your footer custom tracking area. And there you go. You'll have a slider, and you can use it in whatever column depth that you want to use. Um, it can be used for mobile or desktop, so it's pure res purely responsive. Um, and you can have multiple versions on the page and they'll all act intermediate of each other uh, just to, to show that like we have all of these one thing to note though if you have a lot of different um, if you have a lot of images and you try to use a smaller column section you will get where the buttons will kind of overlap each other or not really overlap but they'll stack as you can see here um, if this, if you're wanting to use a small uh, area for this then I would suggest turning the uh, the buttons off but you know that that's what's up, up for you to decide but just to show you they're all independent of each other You know, they'll all work and they'll all scroll on their own, own speeds. Or not on, they'll all be scrolling at the same time or at the same speed, but they, they all scroll independently of each other. Alright, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy this um, and be looking out for, I uh, will be adding more options to this as I stated before um, to give it, you know, we can change. Can give it header, um, not really headers, but well, yeah, we can put text on here. You know, we can name them like, uh, you know, Taj Mahal could be written across. Um, it can take the take the H1 tag out of it. And I wanted, I ultimately, I do want to make it a little bit more easier for you to install it. But right now, this is the quick and dirty. So, um, yeah, I'll quit talking now. Hope you guys enjoy this, and you guys rock. Have a good one.